this program i'm going to talk about how you can use the built in function called as f put c to write one character at a time into a file that is one byte at a time because the size of character data in c happens to be 8 bits or one byte so first thing what i am doing is i have declared file star fptr then what i am doing is i have declared a string with the following content okay the string contains let us write one character at a time dot dot slash n stands for enter key second line enter key third line enter key so once i show you the demo of this particular program on the screen you can see that three lines are going to be written because there's the enter key which has also been written into the output file so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to try to open a file whose name is one care write dot txt i'm opening it in write mode because i want to write one character at a time suppose i am able to open the file successfully then i do not need to worry about this if statement if there's an error in opening the file i'll say error opening the file and i'll exit exit prototype is defined in standard lib.h then see what i am doing using a loop what I'm doing is using a for loop starting from the zeroth location of this particular string. As long as I have not reached the null or end of this particular string, I am using f put c to write one character at a time to the location pointed to by fptr. fptr is referring to this particular file on the hard disk. fptr is also known as your stream. Stream stands for what is the source of your input or output. My output happens to be a file with the name one underscore care underscore write dot txt. So for i equal to zero, as long as I don't reach the end of this string, I take one character using f put c. I take the character and put it using f ptr. So the first parameter happens to be the character. Next parameter happens to be the stream. Once I am done writing all of the characters, all these three lines, I am required to close the file pointer and exit. Now let us try to see how f put c looks. The parameters for f put c happen to be the first parameter happens to be int char. So here, although although this I have stored it as a character, okay, this it it will convert it into its ASCII value, and this ASCII value will be written by f put c. Star stream stands for your source of input or output. In this case, my source of output happens to be this particular file on the disk so what happens is it returns the integer value suppose i am writing capital a it will return 65 but if there is some problem writing it you will get error or end of the file value as the return value let me re-emphasize if you are writing capital a it will return 65 but while writing there is some error for some reason the hard disk crashes or whatever it is let's not bother you will get an error message which will either have a EOF value of minus one, assuming that's the value on the operating system, or certain error code indicating that there was some problem writing a character on the hard disk. So I hope you have understood how to write one character at a time using F put C. In the next program, I'll show you how you can read one character at a time. So please take a look at the demo of each of these file programs to get a complete understanding of how things work without the demo a lot of these things are not going to be clear so please do watch the demo that follows immediately this explanation